Why do Democrats want to sabotage North Korea talks? This is from counterpunch.org. Let's see what this is all about. Amazing how partisan politics shapes this country's foreign policy. Seven Democratic senators have written the president urging that any agreement signed with North Korea must be permanent, must be subject to anywhere, anytime inspections of all nuclear-related sites and facilities, and must include the dismantling and elimination of the regime's ballistic missiles and programs. It is a tit-for-tat for the solid Republican opposition. Five of the seven senators, Durbin, Warner, Feinstein, Leahy, and Brown, had voted for the Iran agreement, while two, Schumer and Menendez, had been among a mere four Democrats uh, voting against it. So this is a display of democratic unity towards the end, not of bringing permanent peace to the Korean Peninsula, but to make it as difficult as possible for an unpopular beleaguered president to score a diplomatic triumph. There are Democrats and some Republicans praying for failure in Singapore, worried, they imply, that an all ill-prepared, impetuous commander-in-chief giving up the family jewels over Belushi and kimchi. The big picture is that the United States under Trump abruptly entered a period of aggressive exceptionalism involving unilateral withdrawal from treaties. Meanwhile, it has positively alarmed many in the truncated State Department and the U.S. polity as a whole. Uh, the mainstream media insistently attacks Trump's foreign policy. The U.S.'s external troubles now involve fraying of alliances. Emmanuel Macron has actually suggested the G7 could become the G6. The internal troubles include the Russia investigation. In this context, seven Democratic senators address the president demanding that any deal he makes with Kim meet unrealistic expectations for their approval. So the only good thing the world sees in Trump and his unexpected, is his unexpected openness to talks with North Korea. The prospects of a successful summit delights most people, including the leaders of China, South Korea, and Russia. Feinstein and Co. should already be throwing cold water on any results, shows how out of touch they are with the world, and how much they overestimate the extent of U.S. power. So, I mean, the short answer, why do Democrats want to sabotage North Korea talks? Yeah, politics as usual. And we have two pro-war entities at play here. The Democrats and the Republicans. I mean, I mean, don't make it out. Um, you know, keep in mind, and everything in this article is totally valid. The, the Democrats are playing politics as usual. They would hate for Trump to score any diplomatic measures. However, let's not make it out like Trump isn't also uh, a total, ha has totally let his base down when it came to the non-interventionist part. And, I mean, look at who he's, he's surrounded himself with, Gina Haspel, Mike Pompeo. So you do not have, quote, non-interventionism on either side. The Democrats would gladly start World War III to continue to play politics. That's something we all know. They don't care. Especially, I mean, you know, they mentioned Dianne Feinstein in that list of, of seven. She's never met a war she didn't like. So you, you just have two pro-war entities attacking it from different angles. That's literally all we have. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.